Hi, my name is Milian Trulove. I'm the Vice President and Dean of Admission and Financial Aid at Reed College in Portland, Oregon. I'm here today to give you an overview of what it's like to be a Reed student. Uh, I'm going to show you a series of videos, and in the first video, you're going to hear from faculty and students, and they're going to tell you what the Reed experience has been like for them. Uh, after that, I'm going to show you the academic and social experience, and finally, give you a few tips on how to apply to Reed College. Uh, in between, I'll be jumping in and giving you a few updates, uh, but let's get started now. The first video uh, is really designed to help you understand what the voices at Reed are saying about the academic experience. Uh, Reed has often been called one of the most intellectual colleges in the country, um, but what is distinctly uh, unique about Reed is that it's a place that primarily focuses on learning. Uh, it's a place where conversations in the classroom continue outside of the classroom, and that's a rare treat that often doesn't happen at every place you attend. Uh, if you're a student who uh, has ever been in a class and you hear an idea that piques your curiosity uh, so much that you can't let it go, you walk out of that classroom and you might um, seek additional research or maybe you connected with other classes that you've recently participated in. Um, but at some point you find yourself back in that class talking to that teacher about what you've learned and wanting to know a little bit more. Um, and those conversations might go on for five minutes, they might go on for 15 or 20 minutes. But if that sounds like you, you might be a really good fit for Reed. Uh, it's a place for uh, students who are excited about learning, students who like ideas, and for folks who are okay with bringing those ideas outside of the classroom as you're walking to the cafeterias, you're sitting on the lawn, because you're hanging out in the residential halls. Uh, it's a place where curiosity really reigns. Um, and so I'm excited to show you this first video so you can hear firsthand from the students and the faculty about what this experience has been like for them. A liberal arts education values how you come to learn more than necessarily what you learn. A lot of thought has been put into education at Reed. It's hard, but it's in the end, it's so, so worthwhile. This isn't a place where people come if they're kind of half interested in their education. They share that real courageousness and a lot of personal responsibility for their learning. There's a real intellectual excitement. Students often start college thinking that they are going to learn a lot of things that are known already. And what is incredibly exciting is that most things are not known. I'm looking at how animals do in response to low oxygen conditions. The curriculum has a very intentional shape. Most of your classes are taught in a discussion format. The professor doesn't lecture in those conferences. The professor really engages the students in this common discussion. Most readies have a, an ability, at least, to change their opinion. You know, they're willing to listen. I think we all have to learn how to engage in a civil discussion. It's just a wonderful experience, too, in terms of, like, the social atmosphere. There's a spirit of collaboration. Part of that might be because of the lack of emphasis on grades. The grading process is one of the best parts of Reed. Papers never come back with a grade. They only come back with comments. That reclaims all of that energy and space and gives it back to learning. If you want to say, you know, this is a great paper, you've got to say why it's a great paper. One of the things that I find really striking about Reed students is how much they take care of each other. They're careful with each other in class. They're attentive to each other outside of class. People are pulling together little operations and clubs and stuff. So hi, this is me and this is my friend Vikram and right now we're at Cheese Club and we're gonna eat a bunch of different kinds of cheese and learn about the cheese. It's raining outside right now. Apparently we're going to some kind of temperate rainforest here in Oregon. I've never been to a rainforest before and it's our last bio activity of the year. They should definitely do split screen for this. This is going to be weird to put side to side. <laughs> My favorite place on campus is probably the canyon. It's like 28 acres of wetland. A little island of kind of nature and tranquility. When you're done, it's a three minute walk to class. It's a jewel even of like the greater Portland area. It's really a very interesting and inspiring place to live. Students have a lot of freedom. What the faculty try and do is treat them as colleagues and peers. Faculty and students have really close relationships. The first and the last question we always ask is, 
What does this do for the educational experience of the students? Reed has given me a perspective and, a, and certain habits of thinking and habits of living. When students leave here, they know that there's no place like this. Uh, I spent the last week like saying goodbye to a lot of people. Though I know I'll like see them again, I don't think we're ever going to be in this place all together again. And that, that's what it's about. So now that you've heard a general overview of Reed College um, through the voices of some of our community members, I'm going to hone in a bit more on the academic experience. Um, our faculty often talk about their approach to teaching, their pedagogy, and why that is so special for instilling not only a passion for learning, but actual knowledge into their students, helping enable them to be some of the most successful in the world. Um, Reed um, students go on to earn their PhD uh, more often than all but three other colleges in the United States. So we're the fourth highest producer of PhDs per capita than every other school. Um, not only that, but um, students who uh, come to read not only have an opportunity to go on and earn their PhD, but they're also incredibly successful in their field. But a lot of that is based on how faculty are instilling knowledge uh, with, with, within the students right in the classroom. Um, so the second video will give you a deeper dive into uh, the academic experience at Reed. I hope you enjoy it. Reed College is a place to activate learning where students are encouraged at every turn to take ownership of their minds. I think that Reed has a really holistic approach to education. Depending on what classes you take, you can learn a variety of ways, which is very important. The thing that Reedies really like to do is, is think critically about all sorts of problems. We really encourage people to dive in and to really dig deep into their interests and to pursue their interests. The conversation always continues. The dialogue doesn't ever end with you know, a presumed answer. Students at Reed are very taxed intellectually. They have to work really, really hard. And they're all very serious about what they do. From what I noticed from my friends who go to different schools, their relationship with professors is very different here. We call them by like their first names, and I think that because of small classes and just the environment, there's a sense that you have a very personal relationship with them. It's not a narrow education, it allows for a broad exploration. But once you have decided your interests and you want to explore them deeply, we have the resources to allow you to do that. The fact that I was able to independently come up with a rough idea for a research project and then work with my advisor to develop it into sort of a presentable proposal and then for them to advocate on my behalf in order to get funding is such an integral part of my overall read education. I'm really thankful and enjoying every second of it. There are many classes and experiences that you can have at Reed. You're very like engaged in like doing whatever you're learning. Reed is very excited to provide a space where students can engage in so many different things and learn in different ways. We know that our students graduating will take many different turns in terms of their career exploration. And so what a liberal arts education does is give you resources for life and what could be more important. Now that you've learned a little bit more about the academic experience, I want to focus on an aspect of college that's also incredibly important. Um, it's the social experience. It's, it's the student experience. So when you're at Reed, uh, students are incredibly collaborative. Um, students um, have a part in governance and creating the institution that Reed is to become. Uh, this is pretty unique and this doesn't happen at a lot of places, but this next segment will highlight uh, the way in which they come together to both enjoy their experience here and to celebrate each other and to be active in our community. 
most of this will tell you a little bit about students who collaborate through the canyon and in other parts of the college. Uh, but one of the things I want you to take away is the way in which they interact and support each other. I think that's a hallmark of the Reed experience. I hope you enjoy it. Reed is special among liberal arts colleges. Let me just start there. What does it mean to be academically rigorous? You know, that would be nothing if it weren't for this heart of passion. Rigor is nothing without joy. We can learn and it's much more about collaboration, I think. There's a sense that like to do well, that means everyone else does well. And it's not like for me to do well, other people are not doing well. I think Reedies are very self-driven and self-motivated. We have so many different diverse interests in the community. It is absolutely wonderful to be going to a school that empowers me to do pretty much whatever I want to do. The possibilities are infinite. Canyon on campus, I didn't know it at the time of my enrolling here, but it is the best part of campus. Campus is 116 acres and the Canyon ecosystem is 28 acres of that, which is just so exciting for me because I personally feel like I need to be out connecting with nature every single day and the Canyon gives me a chance to do that. Reed gave me so much of my time here. It gave me an education that I use every day. It gave me friendships that mean more to me than anything in the world. I think that the empowerment of students that we have is pretty unique to Reed. It just stands out in an incredible way to me. It's such an exhilarating experience to see the kinds of things that students come up with. They are so creative, you just have to let them go. This next segment is actually uh, one of our favorite things to do at Reed. Uh, we give a lot of informational sessions to help you write the best essay, uh, to navigate selective college admission process, and also how to apply to Reed. And so we took one of our longer sessions that's about 30, 40 minutes, and we've condensed it into a much smaller uh, time span. And we're going to give you the highlights on applying to Reed and some of the information in that session that'll help you turn in the most competitive application possible. If you like it, come back and visit us because we host these kind of sessions once or twice a month for an entire week. We call them College Application Week or Readies Reflect. And some of the content includes um, making sure that we meet you where you are, wherever you are in the college process, we're going to offer programming that will help you manage it. 97% um, of our students say they love our programming and I think you'll love it too. So check this out and be sure to come back and see what more we offer. So our goal today um, is to really talk about uh, the application, uh, in particular applying to Reed. So who's the admission committee at Reed? Uh, it's just a bunch of people. Um, they're not folks who um, spend all of their days thinking about ways that they can torture uh, candidates who apply for school, but we're just a lot of human beings just figuring out um, how we can find ways to say yes to our applicants. So let's talk about um, pieces of the application. Um, the main part of the application is the essay question and just information that's personal information. Uh, you know, who are you? What school do you go to? What's your address? That stuff is really easy to fill out and you're not gonna lose any time on that. Um, but the thing that is a little bit different is uh, the nature of the essay questions. Uh, and those will vary uh, from place to place. And so your application essay, um, one of the things that you won't get to do, particularly for schools far away, um, is sit down and have a conversation with an admission counselor. Uh, not only that, but sometimes you want to tell your story and you don't have a chance to. And so when you're sitting at your kitchen table and you're writing that uh, college application essay, when I read that, what it does is give me a good sense of who you are what's important to you, gives me a good sense of your values. And I'm reading that for a few things, but I'm reading to make sure that the grammar is correct, that you've actually spent time on it, that you didn't write it on your cell phone. So all of those things are very important. 
Um, and once you submit it, the committee looks at that and it's the way that they get to know you. It's about the only way that they can really tell you, uh, understand your personality better without having done an interview. I'm going to tell you one of my favorite essays of all time. Uh, Corey Garibaldi uh, sent me an essay and um, I'm originally from Minneapolis. And he said, the way I would get to know you in mission committee is I would take you down uh, to Minnehaha Falls. We'd sit on some of the rocks down there. Minnehaha Falls is a very important place to me and for these reasons. And we would have a bowl of, um, of uh, Lucky Charms because it's my favorite cereal. And he went into detail about the conversation we would have there and how I'd learn more about him. In my mind's eye, I was sitting at Minnehaha Falls with Corey, eating a bowl of like syrupy sweet cereal, having this really thoughtful conversation with him. And I had never met Corey before in my life, but I knew exactly who he was. So when you do the common application, we also ask for a supplement. And what a supplement is, is uh, sometimes because a common application at its very nature and coalition application are generic, colleges will ask you to submit more information that's more distinctive and special for them. Uh, and we're no different in that way. And this is the question we came up with. For one week at the end of January, students upend the traditional classroom hierarchy and teach classes about any topic they love, academic or otherwise. This week is known as paideia, after the Greek term signifying education. What would you teach that would contribute to the Reed community? Now, what we decided was early on, when people get excited about stuff, we get excited about them. And we think that whether or not you've been to Reed, whether or not you visited, whether or not you just learned about us, everyone can answer this question and talk about something that they're excited about. And if you talk about something that you're excited about, we're going to get excited about it too. Here's the thing about the recommendation. Um, this is why these are so important. Your recommend recommender is the only person that tells me what you're like when you're sitting in the class. If you're like, you know, talking to folks over, you know, over the conversation, if you're engaged, if you're being responsive, if you have a good grasp of the material, if you're coming in and asking more questions after the class is over, they're the only person who can give me that information and at Reed, where the academic program and how you engage the academic program is the most important thing, there ain't nobody else who can do this for me, right? And so what I tell folks is, if you have a chance to do two academic recommendations, do two academic recommendations. So grades, course selection is really huge, y'all. So um, you know this, um, you know, we always get the question, or I always get the question, should I, you know, is it more important that I get a B in like an AP English course, or if I get an A in um, a regular English course. And I love when people get A's in AP English courses. <laughs> okay, that's, that's like my favorite joke, but um, it's totally not fair because what it says is you got to take a hard course and you have to do well in it. And actually, I think it's more appropriate that you find the appropriate challenge for you. Uh, so in other words, if you're walking into school and you're nervous about your six AP courses because you don't think you can do well in all six, that's not an appropriate challenge. And part of getting ready for college and going to college is course selection, appropriate challenges, measuring the stuff out in a way that you will succeed. That takes great discipline. And what we've seen is the highest correlation for success at Reed in the classroom, guess what, is your transcript and how you performed in your classes. And so it's quantitative, um, but it's the most important part. And as a result, that's what we're going to be using in the evaluation process this year. And the interviews at schools um, are secretly far more important than you think, um, because if you, I said the essay is your conversation with the admission committee, um, or you can actually talk to the admission committee with an interview, but you're, interview is a time to really just share with us what's going on with y'all. So if you have concerns, you're nervous about stuff, uh, this is the time to do it. Um, and we're not going to hold it against you. So have candid conversations with you. Our goal is to help you put your best foot forward and to turn in the most competitive application you could possibly submit. Really fun hanging out with y'all. Uh, we are going to send you some swag. And so thanks uh, for for those of you that participated and really nice to see your faces. Thanks for hitting the video. Come back and see us soon. Y'all take care.
Thanks a lot for hanging out with us and checking out our videos and some of our condensed segments, some of our uh, more produced segments. Uh, I really hope it was helpful for you. And when I say helpful, I hope it gave you insight into um, what the community at Reed is like. And for you, you'll have to decide if this is a place where you want to learn more, if it's piqued your curiosity, and if it didn't, that's totally fine. Uh, but if it did, there are quite a few things that you could do next. Uh, you can tour campus, you can meet with an admission counselor, you can meet with a student, you can join us for one of our information sessions, or you can join us for any of our 20 other sessions that we host throughout the year. Uh, soon we'll have um, space for limited on-campus visits uh, for students to submit the application, and I hope that you are one of those students. Um, but I hope you've enjoyed some of this programming, and I look forward to meeting you sometime soon.